Double Vertical Saiyans is now affiliated with Big Orbit Cards. So you now can get your sealed products and singles if you click the link in the description box below. So enjoy guys. Hey everybody, Double Vertical Saiyans here, I'm Matt. And I'm Joe. And today we have the green reveals and the SR reveals, even though some of the SRs were already revealed. We're going to properly look at the SRs. <laughs> Uh, we'll go to the green ones first. So, green showcase, leader cards, will you awaken or wish? <laughs> and we got a new uh, 17 leader, a new peel off leader, and then quite, you know, some support cards. Well, actually, no, Super 17 cards, villain cards, support cards, uh, extra cards as normal. And um, well, let's have a look at the list then. Mm. <coughs> and then we'll look at the SRs afterwards. So, to start off, is another peel off leader. Again, and again, and again. So, this time he's green. So, this time around, he is auto. Once per turn, when one of your battle cards battle cards attacks, it gains 5,000 power for duration of the battle. Then, choose up to one Dragon Wall card from your deck or life and to hand and shuffle any areas you look through. Okay. And then, 7 Dragon Balls, Desire, yada yada yada, bang, awaken. Um, activate main once per turn, choose one, draw a card, choose one green, black or desire card from your hand, or energy cost less than equal players after the main skill. I'm skipping over some of the text guys because they're all the same on these. It's the last effect that's different. Um, so, remove seven Dragon Ball cards from the drop area for the game. If you do so, choose up to one card from your opponent's hand and battle cards and place them in their owner's drop areas. I mean, this card gained 15,000 for a duration of a turn, then flip this card back over. Wait, what? So, they choose up to one each. Alright, so you take a card and a battle card, and yeah, okay. Yeah, so you do green's usual thing, give it some power, and then swing the third K. Yeah. That's alright. Eh. Eh. I mean, it could be more devastating. Yeah, it's also a bad shamrock. <laughs> So this is all the black style bot. Anyway, moving on. I think that's a bit of a mediocre one. So far, yeah. out of all the wish ones that have been Shenron, that seems to be the most mediocre one. Yeah, that's the most <coughs> pain out of all of them. So we have Super 17 as our next leader. Uh, he has auto burst two, so mill the top two cards. When it's card attack, draw a card. And he wakes on four by flipping two energy back to active. Into Super 17 Evil Entwined. Uh, so, also sparking 5. So, if you have 5 and drop, when it's card attacks, draw a card and it gains critical for duration of turn. <coughs> okay. Um, active main. If your opponent has 10 or more cards in their hand, your opponent places cards from their hand to drop until they have 9 in hand. Um, so, you meant to just got a card. Yeah, I feel like it's very, very situational with that kind of 10 card limit, so... The I reason why it's a 10 card limit is because of what's been happening with um, some decks where they've just been constant searching, hand size has gone up, 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 and yeah. they use a couple of cards, but because of the way it works, they're always keeping a higher hand. Yeah. Um, most decks in the game these days seem to have a 10 card hand at most given times. <coughs> here's the thing. If you're look to play an Android <coughs> and make your phone discard, you just pick Cell. Cell makes them go down to three cards in hand. No That's matter a cell what. chain. Yeah. Well you But can... if they got a ten card hand, what you can do is you can do this to put them down to nine. Yeah. So then use a the cell chain to then make them get rid of more cards because that one of those cards they might get rid of that makes the ten might be one they wanted to keep. Yeah, but it also still takes a card out of the hand, and it is also twenty crit. That's the main thing. It's fifteen crit. It doesn't gain power; it just draws your card and gains. Ah, oh, right. Okay, fifteen crit. Whatever. <laughs> I, I guess, but like I still prefer the cell. I mean, you don't even have to do cell chain. It just cell is on placement, so you could evolve into him or just pay the hard seven and then no matter what their hand size you're making them <laughs> drop down so even if they have 20 and you're like it's oh, a crit leader this. yeah crit 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 yeah 
Pressure. Is that me, is it? Yeah. Oh, don't know. It's gone now. Yeah, anyway, let's carry on. Yeah, but I was getting a phone call apparently, guys, I'm so sorry. Um, Ooh, this looks cool. Oh, they got the SRs listed, don't they? Yep. Um, I can let Jay speak for a minute, guys, this might be important. Okay. So, whilst we're going on mixed bag of, bag of green SR, we have Twin Onslaught, Super Saiyan 4, Son Goku. Uh, so he's 5.25k power. He has double strike and deflect. Pretty nasty. Uh, auto burst 5. So you mail up 5 cards. When you play this card, if your leader is a green Shenron, so the Tiny Warrior Goku as we saw, choose all of your opponent's battle cards and KO them. If there are still battle cards remaining in your opponent's battle area, choose all of them ignoring barrier, negate their skills for the duration of the turn, and this gains dual attack for the duration of the turn. So, it's pretty nasty. You get a 25k double striker that nukes the board, if it can't fully nuke the board, you can attack with him twice. So, to a sense it becomes a quad striker, but you have to get both of his attacks through. Um, it's just very deadly, and obviously, by looks of it, he's your big guy if you're playing the green channel, so it, it's an incentive to play it, if anything. So, anyway, moving on, oh, we have Super Saiyan Son Goku, uh, 2 drop 20k power, it's just the vanilla, nothing super special. And um, next we have Spirited Search Pan. So, 2 drop 10k power. Uh, Act of May, place this card into your drop air. Choose up to 1 green Super Saiyan Son Goku or Spirited Search Super Saiyan Trunks with an edge cost of 2 less from your deck and play it. Then shuffle your deck. So, obviously there's going to be another one coming shortly. I don't actually just go into this without paying its energy cost to a cent. So, yeah, not bad. Um, so next we have Super Saiyan Vegeta, no holding back. Uh, it's 4 drop 20k power. It's got double strike and barrier, so pretty nice. And sparking, auto sparking 5. When you play this card, choose it to one of your opponent's battle cards and KO it. Not too bad. I mean, a double striking barrier of 20k is good. Sparking 5 isn't difficult in all fairness. So, hit 5 and drop is quite easy when you think about it. So, next we have a uh, defensive stance of Saiyan Vegeta. So, he's, oh, super combo. So, two drop 15k, it's a strong super combo. Uh, also spark 5, when you come with card, if your leader's green, draw a card. So, obviously there's two different versions of super combos now. This is the sparking one, because you either get a sparking or a burst one. Uh, well, actually I think they're all sparking at the moment, so. Pretty interesting. Uh, next we have, oh there we go, Spirited Search, Super Saiyan Trunks. So, 2 drop 15k. Active main once per turn. When your life is at 4 or less, choose one green or black desire card from your drop and add it to your hand. So, late game? Good way to build up. I mean, if you're just self awakening, it's also handy for that. And also, when you play this card, if your life is at 5 or more, choose up to 2 Dragon Ball cards from your deck and place them in the drop. If you do, shuffle your deck. So, it's way of searching out Dragon Balls. Uh, four less life, it's way of just getting your cards back. So, pretty handy. Welcome back. <laughs> Hi. I'll explain later. Okay, well, <coughs> we've gone for trunks, so. Oh, I missed that one, did I? Oh, wait. It's GT trunks, okay, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <coughs> okay. Defensive Dance Piccolo, Super Combo. Maybe not. <laughs> uh, so we have Negotiator Krillin, who always looks like uh, J. Jonah from Spider Man, like this. Jameson. Yeah, he does. JJ! So he's 1.5k, he has Barrier, 
And also, when you come over this car from the back here, choose it to one of your parents' combo area and place it in the owner's drop. So... So, Jocko? But is that going behind the guy's a drop? It, yeah, it's a defensive Jocko. Yeah. <coughs> um, physical Mastery Oob. So there's a free drop with 19. God damn it. Okay. Uh, auto Burst 3, just mills the top 3. And now when you play this card, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards with 15,000 power or less and KO it. It's alright. So you play him, you mill 3 and kill, it, kill something. Mm. Same. <laughs> it's a shame it doesn't ignore Barrier though. Yeah. <coughs> So we have Endless Malice Android 17. So 2 drop 10k. Uh, his character is actually Android 17, so. He's also a special trait Android. Yay! Uh, so we have Auto Burst 3, so mill top 3 cards. When this card attacks, it gains 5,000 and critical for the duration of the turn. Okay. So it's 15 crit. Yep. Cool. Uh, Deadly Defender Android 18. Uh, free drop with 20, barrier, also permanent. During your opponent's turn, if your leader card is green and his card is in rest mode. Oh, okay, it's one of those ones. Uh, basically, I see, um, if your leader card is XYZ, ABC, color, whatever, it's <laughs> it's basically Bergamo. <laughs> Except they lose power. Yeah, it, <laughs> it's just like a leader defender, yeah. really. It's just a bit of defense. Good if you're dying. <laughs> Yeah, um, but they all lose to 5,000 power, so they all become an easy target to kill by waste and attack, basically, at the end of the day. Or you can just combo to make it live, depending on how heavily your opponent combos into it. Yeah. But it's... They're good cards, don't get me wrong. Do you like them? Interesting design choice to try and make the game less aggressive. Yeah. Um, whether these cards are actually going to see massive play in the long run, it's just going to have to wait and see, isn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> they are a cool idea. So we have Hellfighter 17 Evil Revive. So it's free drop 15k. Uh, it has barrier. And Junior Absorb. Place one <coughs> Android 17 card from your hand or drop it to this card. Use one Super 17 card and then cost a 4 less from the deck or drop and play it on top of this card. Then shuffle the deck if you look through your deck, obviously. That's quite a good Junior Absorb. Yeah. It doesn't have to be from the hand, which is really good for it. Yeah, well, it doesn't have to be from the hand, and like none of it has to come from the deck, it's in all fairs. You could just put the 17 in there quite early by conquering with it. Yeah. <coughs> so that's really good for Union Sword. Yeah. Oh, here's the SR. Super 17 Cell Absorbed. Now I'm trying to really think where the Cell Absorbed thing came from. Was it Heroes or was it some alternative thing that I just haven't seen? Uh, well, it says special, so that probably something they just did. It might be Hero. I don't know. If not, they've just designed it for this. Uh. <coughs> well, either way, he's got a six drop where you're gonna pay the hard. Hang on, is it one, two, three? Four green. Four green. Okay, so it is not quite a hard drop, but still close enough. <laughs> it's got critical and dual attack and deflect. Well, those first three effects there already make him a pain. Yep. Straight up, just already problem. <laughs> um, he's got sparking ten. So when this card attacks, if your leader card is green android card, um, that really throws off, throws me off. Uh, your opponent chooses two cards on a hand place from the drop area. Right, so 20 crit, potential combos, 20 crit, potential combos, and your opponent loses two cards. Every time it attacks? Yeah. Ouch. In fact, that's disgusting. The one thing that stops him from being even worse is that he's not regarded as Android 17. So, in an Android deck, he's. Like, he's good, but he's not as abusable. No, but he uh, is Android Slash Machine Mutant, so he is searchable. Yeah, searchable. But, like I said, if you're playing like, the 1718 leader, you're not going to be giving him 5k, because then, <coughs> if he's 25 crit dual attack of flight, 
that'd be worse. Yeah, it would. Um, another thing is, though, if we go by our minds, if you negate the attack, you're still losing two cards in your hand. Yeah. So... No matter, like, the only good way around it, I feel, at the moment, is flying Nimbus. But you'd have to dump a card, so essentially you're losing four cards in one attack. Yeah. So... And that's if they don't... If they attack with him... Friends, if they attack with their leader first and you fly Nimbus, it's fine. If they attack with him first and you fly Nimbus, then still you're, you're still in the same situation as you were before. Yeah. So, that card's evil. Yeah. Oh, here's the four drop that that card was referring to. I'm presuming this is it. That's a lot of text. Right, so we've got four drop with 20. Uh, barrier and deflect. Why? Auto, when you play this card, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and KO it. Okay. Union Azor, pay two, plus two colors, choose one cell card from your hand, or drop area and place it under this card. Choose it to one Super 17, and you got six from your deck, or drop area and play it on top of this card. Then shuffle your deck if you look through it. So, basically, um, this one card's going to have a lot of soul. I'm going yeah. to say soul because there's going to be a lot of cards underneath it, because you do the whole thing to get into him. The Union is all. Yeah. Then you use his Union is all to then get into him. The pile's gonna be like this. Oh, uh, it, <laughs> it also makes him very consistent. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> yeah. Really easy to do. Yeah, I, 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 I also, don't like I, it, but I love it at the same time. What's his Union is all? He's a free draw and no cost. It's just an Android so any Android seventeen. Here's his units over four. So, oh boy. Similar to Cell in how you're doing it through Unit Absorb, but. You can add this out turn four. Yeah. 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 Turn, turn four, you can have that thing out going. And turn four in a game, usually, depending on how aggressive you've been, your opponent wouldn't have even awakened at that stage. Yeah. Or, at the very <laughs> least, it wouldn't have much resistance against that. Yeah. So, and it, like, if not be extra horrible, you just play stuff like the Further Instruction Champer every time he attacks. So it's like, well, it's now 30 <coughs> double crit. That's, um, that's evil. Yeah. Like, turn four, you can get into that card. Uh... This is why I'm glad it's not Android 17. Androids would just come back into the meta. Potentially oh. because of this guy. And you could still run Cell Chain with the Android, so you're just like, oh, I'm not gonna bother with Cell Chain, I don't think. I'll just do this. Or you do both, if you can. Well, for the Cell Chain, all you'd have to do is check in four of the three draw, and then probably um, three of the other two. Just yeah. because you don't need to actually pull it off, you just need them in there for the consistency of this. Yeah. So if you pull it off, it's just a bonus. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> <I'm very> like. <laughs> I do. I mean, I, I say I don't like it. I, I do and I don't. I might need to get the cell chain stuff. <laughs> Over my corpse. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, we have Dr. Mew, Evil Genius. So, 4 drop 15k. <laughs> also, when you play this card, if you have 4 more energy, choose up to 1 green general real though, and then it's cost a 3 from your deck and play it, and it gains double strike for a duration of turn. Then shuffle your deck. So we're getting real there again. <laughs> green general, really, mate. Yep. Where was, the, where was the green one? It is. Go and be further down the list. Oh, it was further down the okay. Yep. <clears throat> um, so we got Android 20. Oh, you did finish reading, didn't you? Yep. yep. Uh, so we got Android 20, Vial Creator. 2 drop with 10. Uh, also, when you come with this card during your turn, choose it's one of your attacking green android cards against 5,000 power and double strike. Me, me likey, me wanty. <laughs> because you're paying one and gaining five on his combo anyway. So you gain ten. And double strike for uh, attacking green android, so there's a limit, but it's still good. Yeah. It, yeah, it's for that. It's just good for Androids in general. No, I know, but, like, yeah. It's very searchable. <coughs> Say what? 
Oh. Uh, oh, no, because this is based on the Super 17 saga, isn't it? When the hell reopens. Yep. Yeah, that's why all this stuff's coming up. Yeah. Okay. Yep. <clears throat> and then we have Infernal Fighter Nappa. It's a 2.5k. Uh, it has Blocker and Auto. When this card is placed in your drop area from deck, if you leave the card green, we pay it by paying its energy cost. So. Wait, how the hell do you ditch it into the thing into drop from the deck? There's ways, isn't there? I mean, burst for one thing. Oh, right, yeah, if he gets milled. Yeah. Ah, okay. You can just pay the two and bring <coughs> them out. It's alright. It's a good way for a green <coughs> deck that's milling itself to get a blocker. Mm. But you do have to pay for it. Yeah. Uh, so we got Infernal Emperor Freezer. So he's one drop with 10k. So he's Bardock. Um, when you play this card, choose a to one life and so he's Bardock about swap. That is gonna be popular in green, I feel. It's him or the go uh Gohan. The Gohan's gonna be the one that's used due to the fact that it's crit pressure. And it's also 15 yeah. on the attack. <laughs> so you put your opponent either negates it, combos out of it, or takes a crit. If you want to be really interesting, because he's Freezer's army, because I've multi colored Freezer army. <laughs> yeah. You could run him in a Brody chain. Because he's a one drop, you can get him off Freezer's call. Yeah. Um, uh, Freezer's call doesn't specify yellow, does it? We'll have to look at that later. Because if it doesn't specify yellow, you can get this off Freezer's Call turn one. And just take a life. Yeah. Not bad. Um, because Freezer's Call come, plays it in Rast, right? Yeah. So you play, you pay one, Freezer's Call, get this, um, his effect, you then take a life. Because it's when, cause Freezer's Call still counts as playing it. And eventually Freezer could play him out as well. Yeah. So, and if not, you... You wouldn't charge him, you would just use him as a combo piece. Yeah. You would avoid charging it, because you probably have nothing worthwhile. Unless you put some green gates in. Yeah, unless you account for that. <clears throat> oh, it's a new cell. Of course there is. Oh, and look, you get to read it. Yay, so we have Infernal <laughs> Villainy Cell. It's a 4 drop 20k power. He has critical and auto. When you play or combo with this card... <coughs> Draw a card. So it's Vegeta Ape. We, yeah, we get, um, oh, no, actually, it's more in line with the Red Goku. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, but that one says when you evolve it. Evolve or combo. Ah, oh, true. I was just using it as a reference to the, what's it, the, the Vegeta, because he's the same, but he looks at the top, sorry. Yeah. Um, that, that's really good, so you just play it for the four, hit them for 20 crit, draw a card, and then if it lives until your next turn, you just be like, hmm, I can either swing for 20 crit, or I can combo with this and draw a card, or I just leave it until your turn so that I can then draw a card during your turn. Ha ha ha. It has a lot of potential. It's a pain. Oh, well, there's a Wildo. Oh my god. General Wildo, free drop with 30k. And if you play it with Dr. Mew, he gains Double Strike. And he's Vanilla. Yeah. <laughs> they really want us to play Vanillas again, don't they? Well, they're making them <coughs> playable off card effects, aren't they? Yeah. <coughs> As opposed to paying the hard cast for them. You're yeah. just getting them off with card effects, which gives them their utility then. But anyway, go ahead. So we have Shocking Death <coughs> It's a one cost counter attack. If your leader's green, negate the attack, then choose one of your opponent's battle cards when it's cost of two or less and care it. And it has the permanent of sparking five in which you can use this card by taking a life. Instead of the energy cost. <coughs> okay, so we got unthinkable fate. So Goku becoming mini. Yep. Thanks to the Black Star Dragon. Um permanent this card gains design all areas which Obviously, but because of looking at the artwork, it's kind of obvious on that one, isn't it? Um, activate main. If your leader card is green, Shenron, so peel off. Um, choose that one of your battle cards and place it in the owner's drop area. 
Okay. Uh, choose up to one green Sun Goku GT range. It costs two or less on your drop area and player. I mean, you could do that just to swing with Goku again. You could, but I'm guessing it's because it gets you an evolved target. Yeah, that too. <coughs> uh, so we have <coughs> Hidden Feelings. So, it's four cost. Uh, gains desires in all areas. And Active Main. Choose up to two of your cards of androids and feel less energy and switch them to active mode. So, pretty good. You could it's use a it. high cost for something like that. Yeah, but it lets you attack again essentially. Which could be. That's a final turn type card that is. Yeah. <clears throat> so we've got Infernal Messenger. So it's cost one, activate main. If your leader card is green android card, look at the top ten cards on top of your deck. Choose up to two android 17 or hell fighter 17 or super 17 cards and run them add to your hand and shuffle your deck. <sighs> yeah, it's a way of searching out the stuff you need for... That's really good searching. Really yeah. good. Ten, top ten cards for searching is absolutely broken. <laughs> But you, you have to use it, uh, it's most useful in the Super 17 build. Even if you're not using the leader <coughs> card, which I kind of feel like you wouldn't, just because of how it works, it's still good to search out all the bits you need. So. Well, yeah. I mean, you could just throw it into the um, Cell Chain deck just to search a 17. Yeah. Just as like a one or two off if you've got a deck space, chuck it in. Oh look, I search for a 17. Cool, right, I'll put 17 under. Yeah, or if you're just <clears> using <throat> the cell leader for the deck. Yeah. So. On to the SRs, even though we've already seen a couple of them. Yeah. <laughs> but we get to see the rest of them now, guys. There's a lever. Yeah, there's also King Piccolo, Terra's Unleashed. Yeah. As it go? Oh, does it go, tanks? Well, we'll a new SS4. We'll find out what it is. Oh my god, Shamron. Why well, do I feel like the Shamron's going to be broken? <laughs> Probably. You can read this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Yamcha at 100%. So, 3 drop with 19k power. Okay. Uh, Active main wants to burst 5. So, mill top 5 card. If your lead card is a red earthling, for duration of turn, this you, this gains 6k power, it can't have its attacks gated, and it deals 2 damage with the K is one of your parents about cards. <laughs> Yamcha power. <laughs> I suppose the Yamcha lead is actually really good, so yeah. <coughs> Did you just... I didn't know! You gave Yamcha credit! Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah. Okay. No, but the leader card is actually pretty good. Yeah, I uh, know. Well, that says that. Every other Yantra sucks. Um, King Piccolo Terror Unleashed says 4 drop with 20, double strike, permanent. If king a king's return to you is in your drop area, reduce your energy cost in, his hand, in your hand by 1. So you bring it out for 3. Yeah. Okay. Activate main, well, it's per turn, sparking 10. Uh, choose one king pick a terror unleashed or king a king's return to you from your drop area saying to your warp. If your leader card is red shenron, card switch this card to active mode. So you can do double strike twice. Nice. That's a lot of text. <coughs> so we have good <coughs> hero revived. Uh it's a seven drop third K power. It has triple strike. Union Fusion for two blue, three of any other with a Goku and Vegeta barrier and deflect. So, quite a bit there. But that's not all. It also has Auto Sparking 10. When you play this card, if you have five or more energy, choose one card from life and place it to drop. And your opponent shuffles all their cards in their hand into the deck, then draws three cards. <laughs> Ow. Ow. <laughs> that was amazing. I mean, if you want two life and you want that final turn pressure, it's like, oh, I can 
triple strike will kill you. I'll just do this. That was amazing. Put myself along, you get three random cards which you may or may not be able to play. Oh my. It's like, oh, you got the. No, you can't hand air out of you. Okay, let's end. I get the one up Zeno. And I'm going to put you to three. <coughs> and if I need a triple striker as well, so they're on three life, it's just like. Is there's any of those three cars there at a gate? No, do you have a blocker? No. Did you get three super combos? No. Are you dead? Yeah. I was kind of on the same line though. <laughs> <coughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, okay. Ghost Rampage Super Saiyan Go Tanks. So it's a full drop with 20, double strike, barrier, auto burst 5. Uh, when you play this card, choose up to. Choose up to 100 of your opponents. What? I am reading that right. Yeah. Choose up to, um, up to 100 of your opponent's battle cards with 20,000 or less and return them to the owner's hand. What? 100. I mean. It goes for tokens as well, but... I, I think that might be a typo. I mean, look at the card itself. It actually says on the card stack 100. I, I don't think it's a typo. I'm confused. Why does it say, why does it say 100? There's no reason for it to say 100. It's a, <coughs> it's a board clearer that... I suppose it's going on the fact that it's... It could just say board clear. Yeah, but I think it's also going on the fact that in the film... <coughs> well, in the movie, he blows up the undead army, so... Okay. So, we have a final point. <coughs> remember... Remember him from last time. But anyway, he is a... 5 drop with 25k path, all 5 have to be blue. And uh, he has critical. Also, when you play this card, you can't play another one for the duration of turn. <coughs> and he has active main sparking 10. Place this card at the bottom of his deck. If your lead card is evil incarnate, so Janemba, choose up one Janemba card from your warp and then it's got a or less and play it. <coughs> So, yeah. pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, we got Twin Onslaught Super Saiyan 4 Sun Goku. Which, did we really go over this or not? I went over it whilst you were... Oh, right, you over. went over it. And we got over the 17. The Vegeta's a yellow. <gasps> <coughs> okay, sure, whatever. Okay, so he's a 4 drop. Uh, oh, sorry, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta testing his limits. There you go. So there's a 4 drop, we have 3 yellow, he's got 20 power, blocker, double strike, barrier, permanent. <sighs> during your opponent's, no, during your turn this card gets minus 5,000 power. What? What? Oh, you'll see why in a second. I will say once per turn, burst 5, da 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 da, when this card is high, switch this card to active mode. So he's a 15k double strike that can attack twice. And they can't charge him with that. Oh no, he loses. There is no point in losing by There are worse cars in existence that have stronger effects that don't get restricted. Yeah. It, uh, there are, no, okay, no, seriously. There are things that do this already, but don't have a restriction. Yeah. It, I have no idea. Why? It, it, I feel like it's just for the. The yellow deck, if you're not, well, it's just for like the Roshi deck, really. <coughs> okay, whatever. It's, it, it doesn't need the minus 5k, there are things that just do exactly the same thing, don't worry. Okay, so we have <coughs> Freezer back from hell. <coughs> good. Anyway. Yeah, just, I'm just dying. He's a 3 drop 20k power. Uh, 3 drop for 20 that's pretty good. Yep. Yeah. So, he has pun, only one freezer back from health to be played in your battle area. Okay. Uh, I should be able to return. Choose one of your parents' 
spark cards are not in barrier, it can't switch to active mode. In rest. In rest, in in rest, rest, rest mode, barrier. Yeah. It can't <coughs> switch to active mode during the start of your next turn. Until the start of your next turn. Why are I struggling with that so much? I don't know. I don't know. I just wanted to point out, this is, um, they've taken the set one freezer, but actually had the control element to it. Haven't they? And just re it. Yeah. Carry on. And he has an action main one, turn sparking seven. <sighs> Your opponent has seven more cards in rest mode, so there's four things you have to consider before you find that. If your lead card is a yellow Shenron, and this card is in rest mode, deal one damage to your opponent. You can use the old drop freezer, the old one, that puts all the stuff in rest mode. Hmm. Yeah. And then use his activate main afterwards. Yeah, you, uh, you could do that all if you really just want to kill me have the energy and just like cool. I'll play Oh I'm trying to remember it's like um two drop extra card that has cooler on it. I wanna say dark side beam but I don't think that's right. But yeah you pay two energy you switch all your parents cards to rest mode. And then you can just be like cool I deal with your damage. Hmm. So <coughs> Freezer's army's coming back! I was thinking of the yellow card due to the fact that it has the uh, triple strike a bit as well to it. Yeah. So, like, if you deal a damage, your opponent's on four, call you on three, swing. You can use cards in your hand because all your stuff's in rest. Yeah. That's one thing I was trying to consider. Or you could just use the big guy, swing to three, put them down to one, and then be like, I'll use this activate main, you die. Yeah, it's a good way to <coughs> kill your opponent. No offense. Yeah. So Freezer's Army's making a huge comeback. I'll be amazed if people don't use it early. Yeah. <coughs> okay, so we got Shenron, the Wish Granter. So he costs five. And because obviously he's black, he can go in everything. So now this is where it gets really fun. So um, he can't attack. That's depressing. Shenron isn't allowed to attack. It's a pattern with him. Yeah. Um, so Auto Sparking 7. Uh, when you play this card, draw two cards. Then choose one. Choose up to four of your energy and switch into active mode. <laughs> okay, so you can get four energy back and end up paying five and get four. Okay. Choose one of your opponent. Choose up to one battle card when you cost three or less from your drop area and play it. <sighs> or you can choose one of your uh, leader cards or battle cards and it gains 15,000 power and triple strike for the duration of the turn. So if you gave that to a dual attacker... Uh, <coughs> I, I feel like there's a card that can <coughs> triple attack. Pretty sure that's something we've seen. Oh yeah, just triple attackers, but... Um, right, okay, so... It's on the play, so you can't do it after that. So after that it becomes a cost one 10k combo on the board. See, I, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking back to World <coughs> Tournament. There was a way with like <coughs> TM, I think it was, because he could carry a certain card after he swings to stand back up, then Chaozu could stand it back up. So I am now just thinking, if I remember that correctly, you just play this with that TM. And it's multi attack several times. Multi attack with. Triple strike and whatever base power you add 15k to. Mm. That's pretty good. That is a cool Shenron. I I can I reckon that will be used as a one or two of in decks. Yeah. Um, just because of the fact that it draws you two cards and gives you the extra utility. Oh yeah, the, the draw like the draw two get four energy back is pretty good because then you pay one and draw two cards to play them. Yeah. And depending when you play them, you can get some extra aggression on the board. Yeah. Or just extra pressure as opposed to aggression. Because, yes, there is a difference between pressure and aggression. Sounds weird, I know, but there is a difference. There's a difference, people. <laughs> well, because aggression is just constant attacks, isn't it? Pressure is just one attack being... Yeah, pressure is just, like, constantly forcing your opponent to consider what they do. Because 
you'll have a huge impact on everything they do afterwards. Aggression is literally just trying to punch them as hard as you can. Yeah. So, that, that card has many utilities. Yeah. So. <coughs> so we have Black Mass saying the Devastator. So it's a free drop 19k. They're just getting addicted to this. Yeah. Did you know there's going to be one that says 18 at some point, right? I am waiting for something that's just like 15, 500. It's just like a 500. All there's going to be like a 10 just to take us off. <laughs> so, also, during your turn, if you leave a card that is black and there are a total of 15 or more same cards in your and your parents' drop areas. So. Wow, okay. A little bit of <coughs> setup there. Depending on what you use, you relying on your parent but you'd put them in a sane heavy deck to be fair um, when this card attacks is negated or when this card fails to damage your opponent by a battle of their lead card choose one card in your opponent's life and send it to the warp <laughs> so you play him in a black deck that uses sanes and you like he has a Failing effect. So if you fail your attack, you're still doing damage. <laughs> <coughs> but I like either way, he takes your opponent's life because he either crits it or he sends it to the warp. And depending on what they're playing, sending it to the warp is very devastating. <coughs> Well, no, sending any card to the warp is devastating. It doesn't matter where it's from. Well, that, 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 that's why it depends <coughs> on what they're playing. If they can use their warp to their advantage, it's like, okay. Oh, well, yeah, okay. It's supposed to yeah. to their advantage to warp, but usually but it isn't. I also <coughs> think it being a really, like, funny but awesome way to win the game because your opponent can't stop you from winning. If they're on one life, you're like, cool. Um, if I hit you, I win. If I don't hit you, I win. Yeah. <coughs> that Shamrock card is crazy. Yeah. Oh, so much pressure. <sighs> wow. It's kind of good they put a restriction on this, by the way, saying the black saying. Yeah. Well, no, sorry, if you lead a card is black, and, yeah. and, and you have to have 15 or more Saiyans, that restriction is good for that card. If it didn't have that kind of restriction on it, then yeah. that would just be completely out of hand. They need to put the black lead <coughs> part. The same part is super easy. They need to put the black part because you have <coughs> to build your deck with a lot of my, like It's obviously trying to encourage you to choose the leader that goes with it. Like the black mouth saying, but it also encourages your parent to think very carefully about what leader they use because they might use, say, future uh, trans black leader, or they might be like, Well, I can do it with Demigra, I just gotta think very carefully about how I do it. Uh. So, <coughs> it's a very good creative tool, and yeah, like I said, it's also just a really good way to kill your parent. Because you're, when your opponent's down from one life, they'll try their best <coughs> to stop everything that comes their way. So that one's just like, look, I'm attacking you with this, you lose. Because yeah. if you combo out of it, I take your life. If you negate it, I take your life. If you don't do anything, I take your life. Card's quite evil. Yeah. So. But it needs that setup. It's the, it's the um. The setup's not the problem. It's the the leader, really, um, because obviously you're restricted on leaders, so, and also, well, you can't use Demigra, because it kind of doesn't quite work, because you want the Demigra based card, uh, it's the same with Mira, well, Mira you want the Android stuff. Does Demigra, not so much, because he lets you... <coughs> Abuse over realm, and that one kind of needs you to have a lot and drop. Otherwise, like mirror, it can't work for because he can just add stuff back to your drop. So even if you over realm a bit, you can add back. Uh, he's a self awakening leader. Mm. It, or if you're using the other one, you can 
do a multicolor thing where you use green to gain crit and draw cards. So it's not only helping you get that amount. And then you can just add one back to the warp when you awaken. Or add one back from your warp when you awaken. Yeah. So <coughs> I do feel very much just trying to tell you like, use the black mass saying, use this guy. Mm. I still like the Shaman. Yeah, the Shaman's very good, I think. Having extra attacks or just having the pressure on one attack is just horrible. Yeah. <laughs> but it, it's also the fact that it's like Sparking Seven is just having in drop. That's not a difficult setup. No. You get you can do his first one just to get back the energy used on him, have him on board, and then every time you do something with him you draw two. So even if none of them are helpful to you at the time, which I kind of doubt, you just draw two. Right. Well, depending on when you play him, his, each of those effects is relevant in each stage of the game. Yeah. Because if you play him on turn five, and the game hasn't really progressed that far, you can just get four energy back and draw two cards, and then he's a 10k combo on the board. Yeah. Um, so, if you play him when you're going for an extra bit of a tiny push um, for an extra few multi-attacks or just want to go towards the end game you have both his second both his effects after the energy one that can both be really good towards the end game so he's pretty good yes yeah, alright guys um, so thank you very much for watching uh, sorry we rambled a bit there, we just ended up just covering quite a bit. Yeah. Alright, so we will see you next time guys. Alright. Bye bye.